candlelight vigil is just coming to an end in South Jersey for 23-year-old Jonathan Morris Jr. He was found dead earlier this week after his abandoned car was discovered in Mercer County. A 21-year-old man is in custody accused of shooting Morris. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts is live in Bridgeton where that vigil is still unfolding behind you. Alicia, good evening. Yes, that's right, Joe. That visual began around 6.30 tonight, and they just shut the football field lights uh, out behind me here so that friends and family of 23-year-old Jonathan Morris could light candles in his honor. I'm going to step aside and show you the scene right now. Several hundred people gathered here at the Bridgeton Midget football field where the 23-year-old who had the nickname the Gentle Giant played. He's six foot six. And friends and family say he made everyone in his presence feel welcome and accepted tonight. Throughout the night, we heard friends and family tell stories of John John, as they called him. Everyone recalling the senselessness of what happened to him. It was a weekend ago that friends and family went on an extensive search looking for any signs of Morris after his car was found abandoned in Hopewell that Friday before when he was reported missing to officials. On this past Monday, their worst fears were realized when New Jersey State Police found Morris's body buried in the snow about 15 feet off Archie Platte Road. That was the same place his car was found a few days before that. An acquaintance of Morris from Bridgeton High School, 21 year old Miguel Perez, is now accused and charged in shooting Morris and dumping his body. And as you can see, friends still gathering out here. It is below freezing, the cold not staving those closest to Morris away. They wanted to come to pay their final tributes and now they are gathered to light candles. They want this light to signify the light that Morris left on so many people throughout his short but meaningful life here. Miguel Perez is now charged with first degree murder. Police arrested him at his home where they say they also found a stolen handgun. Jonathan Morris will be laid to rest on February 12th. Reporting live in Bridgeton, Alicia Roberts, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.